Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Tati Beauty and Blendiful product that just came out. So I'm actually really surprised because I got this actually yesterday and um, it shipped within two hours when I ordered it and it came in one day. Like that is probably the fastest shipping ever. So this is what it looks like and it comes with one Blendiful and one Baby Blendiful and let me just get every let me sure I get all the details right so it is $18 for both not each for both of them which I think is a pretty fair price and this is supposed to be a game-changing soft textured power tool blending is a dream that designed to seamlessly apply and soften both liquid and powder products so I think it's really cool that you can use this for both liquid or powder whichever you want and she did it in the video that I saw from her, she did use it a lot to like retouch, but she also said, I believe you can also use it, yeah, to apply like foundation and concealer. So I'm going to try that out. I'm actually going to try out a new um, skin routine also, like a new foundation routine. So I'm going to show you guys. So let's open this up. So exciting. I love trying out new tools. So here they are. We have one big one and then the little baby one and I love that it comes with this so you can just like put your hand on it and it's just it's very soft and then we have a little one and I think she said that this one is designed like this because you can like really fold it and get into um, areas so let's get started. So I'm actually going to start off by using concealers so I'm going to be using these two. So we have this Tarte Shape Shape Concealer in the shade Light Beige, and then I'm using Fenty Beauty in the shade 180. So this one's more of like a peachy tone, and I'm gonna really focus this more underneath the eyes, and then this one more to brighten. So I'm gonna try blending them out with using the Blendiful, and then if I really have to, I'll use my beauty sponge. So we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna use the Tarte shade tape one because I mentioned this one is more of like a peachy undertone so the new uh, foundation routine that I saw was actually from Emreezy I'm going to link her down below uh, but she did an IG video on it so there we go just like a little bit I know you can't really see it on camera but this is more of a peachy tone so that's why I like it to um, kind of correct so then we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty. And then this one's more to brighten. But you can definitely see the difference if you compare both of them. So she did use it a lot more here. Put it on here. The chin and the forehead. That's foundation. So I think I'm going to use half with the um blendable and then the other half of the sponge so i'm gonna blend this side with the sponge just gonna be careful I don't really need oh i'm sure oh, now let's use the blendable i guess we'll use this small one It does do the trick. Mm, I think I prefer the Beauty Blender because I feel like the sponge really... I feel like the Blendiful soaked up a lot of the liquid concealer. So I do prefer the sponge for concealer. Um, I feel like I'm going to be using that for powders, not really for um liquids i know i look very scary right now so i finished everything now i just have powder baking i don't know if you guys can see the powder baking so now i'm gonna try the uh, blendable and how she mentioned in her video it's really good to press in the powders Oh wow, 
it definitely makes a difference. Yeah, look. Can't, you can see it just like a little bit, but I feel like that's normal. It definitely. Wow. I really like this. I feel like even if you just use it all over your face, you're really pressing the product in and I'm really surprised. I really like how this looks. So now I've finished the whole entire look and I really like how it looks. I feel like these work very nicely and I definitely think it's worth the money. I am thinking of keeping this one, like the big one at home. And then this little one, I'll probably take it with me like on the go whenever I need a touch up. And that's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So it's been a few hours since I've used the product and since I made my review and I really, really like this product. I feel like there is nothing other like it. Um, it is like a little puff and I know that there have been puffs made before but I never really used those. But this product is definitely different. Um, I feel like it really does help your powder sink into your pores, which I think makes a really big difference. And I just feel like my face looks so flawless and I've been getting compliments on my face. And I just feel like my makeup looks amazing. So I'm definitely going to keep using it. Like I mentioned, I am going to use a little small one to go because sometimes I will get a little oily. And oh, you see, I'm a little oily. Actually, let's uh, try it out right now. So a little oily right there here's a little puff and what I like about it too like it doesn't move your makeup around especially like if you're oily I feel like this can help get rid of, of any excess oil and you don't have to and you don't have to worry about the blendable um, ruining your makeup so I definitely recommend you guys try it out. It's so cheap. $18 is not, it's not expensive. At least I don't think it is, especially for what it does. I feel like it's a really great product. Definitely recommend. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, also, I will be doing um, an in-depth video on my new updated skincare routine because, I mean, sorry, foundation routine because I did do my foundation differently. Um, I only used foundation down here and on my forehead. So um, I am using other stuff, but I will show you guys an end of video next. So stay tuned for that.